What's up, you guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new here, my name is Julie, and I'm a novice sewist who's working towards making my fantasy wardrobe a reality. Uh, today, we have something a little different, a little exciting. There was a huge fabric land sale happening on February 29th. Um, it, was, it wasn't really advertised, and I only knew about it because I went in, and this, the lady who was stocking fabric told me about it. So my mom and I made a priority to get in and get some fabric, and oh my goodness wait till you see what we got i'm so excited let's get into it at the end of the day we ended up getting we ended up getting 24 almost 25 meters so i will tell you what we spent at the end of the video so stay tuned for that but let's get into the fabric okay first thing we got was this beautiful this beautiful olive green it's coming up more brownie than it is it's very much like a like a really beautiful dark olive green I'm very excited. It's a knit. Uh, feels almost like a like a double brush poly. Just something cute knit wise. A little see through. Like not super thick, but lovely. I love this. I should count how many meters we have of each too. I don't remember. For some of these, I do have uh, plans in place for them. But if you have any suggestions on what we should make out of some of this fabric, let me know. Send me patterns. Let me know in the comments. I would love to see what your suggestions are and what your vision is for some of this fabric because I just, I didn't have any visions for any of these. It's kind of just like, oh, in my stash and it's going to be good, but like, that's it. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. We got about three and a half meters of this khaki olive knit. Um, next is this gorgeous teal blue knit. It's the same, it's the exact same fabric as the as the green. It doesn't have as much stretch as I thought it did. Definitely more stretchy this way, but not this way. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. We have about four meters of this. Uh, this is something that we already have an idea for. My mom saw this and fell in love with it. It's this beautiful, almost soft suede, uh, stretchy um, leather feel, and it needs to be a jacket for her. It needs to be like some sort of like cute blazer with like the the things that hang down on the front, like the flounces that hang down on the front. I think that's totally what it needs to be for her. So I need to just find a pattern. I haven't found one yet. I keep looking and nothing is perfect. So that'll definitely be coming in the future. Uh, these are two fabrics that my daughter got. She picked this and it's almost like a, like a, an athletic mesh. Uh, and she wants some pants out of this as well as this for a bathing suit that she's probably not gonna make. She'll make the pants for sure. Smack myself in the face. Uh, she'll make the pants for sure. She's working on um, getting some sewing started. So I'm sure she could be fine making pants, but grandma's gonna make her a bathing suit out of this with probably this as some trim because just accidentally, quite accidentally, it matched. Uh, that was not on purpose, that just happened. So I was like, oh, happy, happy coincidences. It's great. We got the last remnants of this, which is this beautiful flower rayon. It's um, some of this is going to be used for a uh, project I have. I want to start a series where I see either a garment piece or an outfit and I try and recreate it because a lot of those things you just can't find to buy. And if you do find to buy them, they're a lot of fast fashion and then they're not great quality anyway. So I am really interested in starting a, um, a series where I just find an outfit and I make it or I find a garment and I make it. And this is for a garment that I found that I really want to make. Um, so some of this is going to be for that, and some of it is going to be for a high-low fluency skirt for my mom. So that both of those will be coming in the future as well. It's this beautiful, just lilac-y, pinky flower. It's gorgeous. And, of course, more polka dots. Uh, we found this, and it's in a very similar fabric to actually what I'm going to be using for, for one of the ripe dresses coming up. Uh, it's going to be... Very similar to that fabric, but it's also similar in in look to Mom's red po polka dot. So we might try something again in this. Uh, we got eight meters, so we've got a bunch to play with. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Next, we got this beautiful uh, ribbed teal knit. Uh, I know for sure I'm I'm having a. I'm going to be having a romper video come out where I make a bunch of rompers for me and my daughter. That'll be coming soon. Um, so I know I'm going to make something. I want to make a romper out of this, but I also really want to make 
cute little nice fitting form fitting lounge pants out of this because those just fall really gorgeous like every time I see the knit lounge pants I'm like oh, I want a pair so bad so eventually I'm gonna make a pair of that as well so that's that uh, we also got this beautiful purple knit um, which is just such a gorgeous color I don't wear a lot of purple, but I need to wear a lot of purple because it just, it just suits me. I love it. Um, we got about three meters of this one too, and this is the same type of fabric as the teal and olive. They just make great comfy clothes. So yeah, if, what's your favorite thing to make knit of? Uh, so this is the last fabric. Um, so that's everything we got at that sale. Uh, some of those videos will be coming at some point. For the next three weeks, we're gonna have, or for the, the next six weeks, three videos. We're going to be having our first three wrap dresses and then I'm going to take a break and do some other stuff that I got to get done and uh, then we're going to finish with the last three six week wrap dress videos. Uh, so that'll be coming up and uh, if you stay this long, thank you for hanging out with me. I love buying fabric and I have a bit of a problem. Uh, <laughs> but sales, how can you how can you say no when you get 24 meters, 24 meters of fabric for $140 Canadian. Bananas. It was just, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. We literally had to carry it out in a trash bag. That's how many, that's how much fabric we got. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was funny. Um, so yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you would like to see out of any of this. If there's any patterns that you love that think would be perfect. If there's anything you'd like to see made, let me know. I take suggestions and, uh, as you know, I post videos every other Sunday. So if you enjoyed the video or enjoyed any of my other videos, subscribe and hang out with us. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. I keep on